Shala from Branded and today we're going to be converting this Epson Workforce 7210 into a sublimation printer. I just want to say Epson printers are pretty hard to get your hands on right now and they can be pretty expensive too. So I really lucked out. I actually got this one from eBay. I took a risk you guys. <laughs> So I'm really hoping that this thing is all in one piece when we get it out of the box and that we don't run into any snags. Let's get this thing converted and learn along the way together. This is the regular inkjet cartridges that came with your Epson printer. We aren't going to be using these because this is not sublimation ink. This is inkjet ink. So we're just going to set these aside because we don't need them right <laughs> OMG. Okay, you guys. I'm so out of breath. That was a workout. This thing is huge. I did not expect this thing to be this big. The box was even bigger, but now that it's out of the box, um, I realized that all that was in my box was the printer and a power cord. Normally you're going to get paperwork of some kind, um, whether it's to register it or to know where to go to um, download any software that it might need. And so that makes me a little bit nervous. I'm not. Okay, you guys, I've gotten all the tape off this thing. I do not see any paperwork anywhere, so that makes me really nervous. Guys, that's just the risk you take when you shop on eBay. I don't see any obvious issues with this printer. I don't see anything broken or, you know, anything like that. So I'm really hoping that this all works out in my favor. Okay, you guys. One thing that drew me to the Workforce 7210 was that it could print up to 13 by 19 inches. Now, if you're not sure what that looks like, this is the box that the paper comes in that is 13 by 19. This is huge. This would be way too big for a shirt for myself, but for other things such as blankets, puzzles, other sublimation items, this is a really handy thing to have. When you receive your inks, they're going to come in bottles like this and you should get black and yellow, cyan and magenta, and those are the colors that you would need to successfully run the, the printer. These cartridges in particular came with the syringes, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and get these out. As you can see, they're labeled. Now something I want to mention is some of these Epson printers do not have auto reset chips on your cartridges. This printer in particular, a reason why I went with this model is that they do have auto reset chips. Just do your research and know which Epson models have those auto reset chips so that you're not wasting more money in the long run. It came with four different syringes because you have four different colors, which is nice. You're not going to have to rinse one out to put another color in. I will also be linking all of the sellers that I purchased my items from in my description of this video. so nervous to turn this on but I think that for my own sanity I'm just gonna have to go ahead and plug it in and see if it's gonna come on I plugged it in so I see light <laughs> this is promising oh look at that so great news the person that I bought these from actually included an instruction card 
so helpful, right? Um, and it is telling me that the fill hole is the little rubber hole. And then this plug is just an air vent. So after you fill it up, you will then plug it with that color that matches your cartridge label. Okay guys, now that we've read the instructions and we have a good understanding of what we're doing, I don't necessarily need the tubing that came with the bottles of ink because the syringe actually fits down inside that rubber grommet that's on your ink bottle. So you're just going to slowly fill your ink up. Okay, you guys, all of our ink cartridges are now filled and they're ready to go in. It said once I open this, I have to insert the cartridges for it to begin installation or initialization or whatever you call it. So here we go. From what I, from what I understand, you guys, you're just going to want to push until you hear the click. Here's what the ink cartridges look like guys. Once I've installed them, I made sure to push them down so that they clicked in each spot. And now we're going to close the lid. Okay. And then once we close this lid, it's supposed to start doing what it's supposed to be doing. And it says it's gonna take six minutes. So we'll be back. Okay, you guys, I have really great news. We waited the six minutes. It processed the ink cartridges just fine. Yay! So, everything went smoothly. Now, when I went to connect the printer to my Wi-Fi network so that I could test print something from my computer, I ran into a little bit of a snag. So it had said that it could not add the printer. I did a quick Google search and I just wanted to give you guys this information since I did not receive a instruction booklet and I found out that yes, indeed, this thing should have come with one and it did not. I was able to actually download and install the Epson, all the drivers and everything directly from Epson.com. I also registered this exact model and serial number online. So now this is a registered printer to myself and I was able to install the drivers on my computer and get this bad boy connected to my network. So I was able to test print. Yay! So everything looks great. There's not any errors in the ink. It all printed beautifully, and I went ahead and just decided for fun to print on the 11 by 17 paper. Um, was a really great learning experience. I think that converting this particular work for 7210 from Epson to sublimation was very simple and easy to do. Hopefully this video helps you do the same. And now that I have this all set up and ready to go, it's going to make my life so much easier in my business. So if you want more information about the Epson work for 7210, I will link it below. Just know that this thing is a little bit hard to get your hands on at a reasonable price. It seems to be out of stock all almost everywhere, but if you can find one, I think it's well worth the price and the purchase. So I thank you guys for joining me today, and I hope that you learned something about converting this Epson printer to sublimation, and I'll see you guys around next time. Bye!